better than rabbit, chicken, lamb and beef at preventing coronary diseases and chronic inflammatory conditions. Paul Jaminet, PhD, is the CEO and founder of a biotech startup developing a vascular therapy for cancer. His wife, Xu Ching Shi Jaminet, PhD, is a director and molecular biologist and cancer researcher at both the Beth Israel Deaconess Medical Center and Harvard Medical School. These two scientists share a long-standing interest in diet and health, and they're the founders and principals of the Perfect Health Retreat and authors of the Perfect Health Diet series and website. In part two of their book, published online on the 15th of February 2012, they restated that in most countries, pork is either the primary source of omega-6 fats or the second source after vegetable oils. They go on to recommend in their book what they call perfect health diets, a certain dietary strategy. In brief, they say that the highest sources of omega-6, like pork, must be removed or greatly reduced in the human diet, while the sources of omega-3, like seafoods, especially shellfish, must be added in order to stay healthy. A dietary strategy which is already approved and recommended by all doctors, nutritionists and molecular biologists. An updated dietary strategy which was put by the Holy Quran to all Muslims more than 1400 years ago and which Muslims are ordered to strictly follow. It's becoming clear that religion has its part to play in human health due to the fact that the Jewish, Christian and Muslim religions vary so differently in the type of meat they allow their followers to consume. Science shows that the lower omega-6 levels of fatty acids in the type of meats that the Holy Quran allows Muslims to eat lead to a healthier diet. Over 1400 years ago, the Holy Quran was already mentioning the health qualities of perirenal fat, shellfish, rabbit, ostrich and camel, and also stated that as a firm punishment, Jews were not allowed to eat foods that contained this type of meat or this type of fat. The Holy Quran says in chapter 4, verse 160, We made unlawful for them, we deprived the Jews from certain good foods which had been lawful for them before because of the injustice which they had committed and because of their much hindering from the path of God, Allah's way. In chapter 6, verse 146, the Holy Quran also says, We, God, forbade them, the Jews, the fat of the cattle and the sheep, except that which is carried on their backs or in the viscera or mixed with bones. This was a punishment we gave them on account of their rebellion. When we look at the facts, it's quite clear Jews and Muslims are forbidden from eating pork, but amazingly, Jews are also forbidden by the Torah from eating certain healthy foods, which they name not kosher, such as rabbit, ostrich, camel, shellfish, and perirenal fat, which is considered a clear indirect message to Holy Quran to Muslims to add more of these foods to their diet. Christians can eat the same food that Muslims can eat, but they're also allowed to consume pork. Which group is the healthiest? People of the Muslim faith. This leads to a very strong conclusion. People of the Muslim faith, then thanks to their following of the Holy Quran, appear to have been blessed with a much healthier diet and longer, healthier lives. In fact, the diet followed by those of the Muslim faith appears far superior to that of Jews and Christians alike. The reason is simple. The healthy human ratio of omega-3 to omega-6 fatty acids is a very tight window. If the balance is off, even by a small margin, disease and sickness result. It's for this reason that the highest sources of omega-6 must be removed or greatly reduced in the human diet, while the sources of omega-3 must be added in order to stay healthy. So it only makes sense that people of all religions move towards a diet that better reflects the diet in the Holy Quran, a superior, healthier human diet. Muslim countries simply don't suffer such a prevalence of autoimmune diseases or allergies. Be healthy. Eat like a Muslim.